I admit it, you are better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. And what is that? I am not left-handed. Hey builders, Brookradiev here with a custom set showcase of this Princess Bride mock. I originally built this for my, one of my lug meetings where the theme was Princess Bride or Medieval. And I just took the pieces I had and built this. So it's not too intricate or anything. And let's just get into it. So this is one of my first times building a specific scene like this in LIGO and keeping it in a very confined vignette sort of build. I worked a lot to get the greebling of rocks in this area and also having it be at the certain height where it looks tall enough like it is in the movie but also not using a ton of pieces because I was kind of limited on what I had but I think I'm going to be displaying this soon at Art of World which is going to be an event in Minneapolis inside of the Brickmania headquarters. So if you're in Minnesota definitely stop by during that event you can see it in person. The figures of Wesley and Nico both utilize custom pieces uh, with Wesley having crazy arms in black and then Nico having the fringe vest from Citizen Brick. The vest isn't perfect, but from the pieces I had in my collection, it was the closest thing to what his clothes look like in the movie. And also on Wesley, the torso isn't perfect either. I would probably use an older Star Wars robe that's in black. These crazy arm pieces have been a really great addition to my collection. I bought them from Brickmania in their store, and they just add a lot of dynamic posing to figures that isn't present in normal Lego arms. The head print with the mask, that is Robin from the 1960s Batmobile. And there's just not much to this build. It is just a staircase, really, with a platform up above in the rocks. And I added a lot of the brick detailing that's kind of seen in that scene. And also tried to layer it a bit because it is on a mountainside with the rocks behind it. But just because of the small size, I wasn't able to really squeeze it in. Main focus really was just having that platform where the two figures could have the swords and be fighting a bit. Another really cool thing about this is I added on the side there a swinging feature for when an ego jumps down to go and get his sword again. And that's just me trying to make this set as much of a real Lego set as I could. And the pieces used on that swinging feature aren't the perfect options for it. Again, it was just what I had at the time. So I had to combine a couple different bar pieces to make it go across instead of just using one of the longer ones. I also just have a lot of random greebling with rocks on the ground and also vines and some dead looking plants, which aren't 100% accurate, as well as the darker brown up there. And it just adds a lot to the build, so it's not just gray. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video.